Working with prime numbers is an incredibly important part of computer science and overall development. So what we have here is an exercise where we need to create a prime sum. So if you've never seen prime numbers, these are numbers that the only two multiples are itself and then one. So uh, we, can, uh, we can actually generate the full set of prime numbers in Ruby by bringing in the prime library, which is an incredibly helpful thing because if you were to try to create a prime number sequence just by yourself, I promise you that would not be a very fun thing to do. So the way you can do it is by saying prime dot each and then pass in a value. So say you wanted all of the prime numbers going up to 20, you can run this and this is going to give you an enumerator. Now you can also just convert this to an array and after you run this, you can see that this generates all of the prime numbers up to the number 20, starting at 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, all of those. So essentially what we need to do in order to pass this exercise is one, we need to be able to generate prime numbers, which you can see this is the way that you can do it here. We need the ability to pass in this number dynamically, which we can achieve by just passing in a method argument and then from there we need to be able to tally up so we need to total all of those values as a sum so for that we're going to use the inject method so first let's create the method as you can see this is going to be called prime sum and then it's going to take in just a number and then below that let's end it and what we can do here is say prime dot each, but instead of hard coding a value, we're gonna pass in num, and then instead of casting it to an array, we just are gonna pass in inject. Now the inject method, if you use the ampersand syntax, we'll take an ampersand followed by a method. So because we want to add all of these numbers together, we can just pass in the plus, and this is going to, inject is going to, by default, start at zero, it's gonna count up each one of these values and add it onto the preceding sum because we're adding and we're passing in the plus method just like this. So let's take a look and see if this is working. So I'm gonna say prime sum, and let's use the example we have below of the number 42. Now, if I run this, this should equal 238, and it does, so that's perfect. Now, if we did, wanted to do a very large one, such as 100, this is going to work, and you can see it works very nice and quickly. So that is how you can generate a prime sum, and so we're doing a few things here in review. We are generating a sequence of prime numbers by leveraging the prime library, and then from there, we're simply injecting, which means that we're summing up each one of the values in that sequence. So let's verify this is working by running our test. So I'm gonna say running RSpec test for February 15th. If I run this, one example, zero failure. So this is how you can leverage the prime library to generate a sequence of prime numbers and then add them all together.